Hey, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today's bad boy we have is a Heinkel HE219. It is a uh, Yuhu, or Al. Um, <laughs> this was a German night fighter developed in the later stages of World War II. Um, it had the, the Liechtenstein radar. It also was equipped with an ejection seat system, so that was a first for any operational military aircraft. It was also the first German aircraft to feature the tricycle style landing gear design. Um, Luckily though, uh, for the Allies, not enough of these made it to, into production and even less into action. Um, this particular one is a Warbirds of World War II series. It is 172nd scale die cast. It is, um, you know, nicely nicely presented in this box. It does, does have some information on the aircraft um, uh, in the flap. Um, overall, it's a pr pretty good looking unit and um, I think we better get this out. So here we have it out of the box. So this is by Motor City Classics. And um, it is full die cars with some um, little accessories and stuff like that. But um, this actual aircraft was introduced in 1943, but uh, just on under 300 were built. And only a handful did see uh, sea combat. And uh, that said, Ernst Wilhelm uh, Modrell was the top scoring ace, scoring 33, 33 aerial victories in a HE 219 So what we'll do is we'll um, grab this out of the packet gently and um, as you can see in, in the packet here it does come with a stand there are some instructions underneath that stand there and the propellers that need to be affixed as well as the landing gear so we'll move that packet out of the way and get to the aircraft itself and I think this is a really really interesting looking aircraft um, the, the, the actual colorization itself is quite um, quite interesting as well it is a very uh, sort of a, a blue gray Whereas you, you're normally used to the sort of the more pale grey uh, camouflage sort of uh, paint on these German aircraft, but um, uh, look, to be honest, I'm not sure this is you know the colour is 100% accurate. Um, I'm not going to pick on any of that, but I think it looks you know, pretty cool nonetheless. Um, it does does look very interesting. So we'll put this bad boy over underneath and um, let's just have a look at some really good details underneath there, and we'll try and uh, get a bit of a closer look and. Uh, you can see the uh, panel line details are really nice. It does have some overall beautiful um, details underneath the aircraft. As I said, this was $105 Australian um, delivered to my door. I think overall the, the details on it are very reasonable for, for, for the price of, price of it. So obviously the landing gear goes there, there and up the front being the tricycle style. And the detail of that uh, radar on the front there is very nice. I'm glad I didn't have to put that on with my sausage fingers and obviously the uh, propellers need to be affixed but I think uh, the overall the whole rendition of this aircraft is really really nice but what we should do is actually um, go about putting some uh, landing gear and kitting this out properly so here we have it all nice and nice and neat together <laughs> um, have a really good look at those details for you I think overall this is a very nice rendition of it uh, I don't think there's too many um, 219s, Heinkel 219s that you can actually get in a 172nd scale die cast. But you can see the gun, the, the gun pack down there. Uh, this was a very unique aircraft in a lot of its development. Um, it had that Shraj music. Uh, it, was a, it was a devastating weapon. But uh, yeah, as I said, luckily for the Allies, um, these did not um, come into the air in any great numbers. So. But um, overall, I think this build isn't too bad. It is a little bit fiddly in regards to um, some of that undercarriage. I'm trying to put that on a little bit, but you know that some of that's down to my sort of sausage fingers as well. So, but the, the details in the radar and everything like that, really, really nice. I'll try and get a really good close up for, for, of it for you. Um, I think it's really, really nice detail. And, I mean, it, it's reasonably cheap. It's, you know, just over $100, and that was with the postage. Uh, propellers, you know, spin freely, nicely, and everything like that. There is some minor engine detail in there. Um, and as I said, the, the panel lines aren't too bad. It does um, come up nice and um, does have most markings, but obviously the, this, this particular maker does not do the uh, rear tail markings. But um, I think overall, you know, it's a good little beast. It's an, yeah fair bit of kit <laughs> i think it's you know not too bad we'll, we'll put it on the deck and see how she sits down so that's always a good test for a tricycle landing gear aircraft 
And this one sits nicely. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go. That's it. I reckon, you know, it's not too bad. It does come with um, just your, your standard sort of stand. So it does have a little bit of detail on there of the, the aircraft, um, which goes together and just straightforward. It does come with the uh, tiniest of instructions to put the, the, the stuff on. But um, it, I mean, it is not complicated. There are just it's just a couple of little um, units for the gear. It's it's a very basic. The landing gear on this is quite basic uh, compared to more expensive renditions of other models and stuff like that that be, you'd be used to. But um, if you say compare it to maybe like a D Augustini build, the cheaper, more budget conscious builds, uh, IXO and, and things like that, um, this is this is sort of along that stylization. Um, not overly detailed, but not overly expensive either. Um, you know, just a just a tidy rendition of this particular aircraft, and I think you know it comes up okay. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Once again, this is the Heinkel HE two one nine. It's an A seven. Yuhu or Al <laughs> by um, Motor City Classics, um, and it's one seventy second scale die cast. Yeah, it was just over one hundred and five dollars. All right, guys. Um, I will leave it at that. I'll post some pictures of this bad boy up following the conclusion of this video right now, and uh, stay tuned to check those up. So if you, you know, did find this helpful in any way, throw us a like. That'd be awesome. Even subscribe to the channel. You know the deal, guys. All right. Thank you so much for sticking with me, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.